Success will not be achieved half-heartedly. It will be achieved by your pure inner self really putting it down in your mind and soul that I'm doing it. And I will do it. It doesn't matter how many times I fail. It doesn't matter that people are with me. It doesn't matter that people are with me. People make fun of me. What is he doing? What is he thinking? He is. I don't care what people think. What I care is I want to do it. That's passion. So in yourself, walk, look inside yourself. Do you have the passion to do it? Trust me, if you don't, don't do that. Be wise, walk away. Do not try to uh, you know, achieve a goal which you don't have passion for. You just want to do, to show others, bound to fail. You will fail if you want to impress others. That is not the way. So bring into yourself, watch yourself, look in your heart. If you have the passion, I have no doubt you will win and you will succeed. Of course, learning is, I mean, you learn every day, every minute, every second. So if you are, if you think that you know everything, uh -uh. nobody knows everything. You always, always learn something new every day, every moment, every second. We find, so, oh my God, I didn't know that. Is this how it works? That's learning. Now, learning will never stop in your life. If you think that you can learn something new, you are wrong. Your learning has just started. If you think you become a CEO of a company, you don't need to learn. Uh -uh. Love to be learn a lot. Uh, life will teach you as a CEO. If you think you become a chairman or something, you have to to learn. Wrong you are. Your learning will never stop. Keep in your mind that you keep your mind open and you learn. And learn from your colleagues, learn from your partner, learn from even your juniors. If you think that you are smarter than your junior, uh, you have serious problem. You are wrong. So keep your mind open to learning. I will move very quickly with the last three months. Sacrifice, commitment. Nothing is given to you without you giving back. When you talk about hard work, it means you are taking time out of your pleasures, your friends, your family and working on something which you could, the same time you could spend on your pleasure. It means you are sacrificing your life. That is required for you to be anybody or anything at all. If you are not going to sacrifice your time, your life, your family, then you will not be able to achieve your goals and you will not be successful. Okay, now let's talk about this word. word. What is commitment? What is commitment? So, जो जो मैंने कहा, जो मैंने शुरू किया, मैं इसी पर रहूँगा, मैं इसको चेंज करूँगा, that's my commitment. Excellent. Please. Sir, you must be determined. Okay. So, you determine what you said, you do that's a commitment. Anybody else? G. Sincere है ना. Sincere है ना. Excellent. G. Yes, to be sincere with your work, what you do. That's commitment. Okay. G. बोला. Should not change the line of action. So you are committed, you will not change it. You G. Believe. That's commitment. To be honest with yourself, beautiful. God bless you. I think that's the key to it. You know what we think about honesty? Can we make a passive and now we have to go to honesty again? Honesty is not that. Honesty is that when you are in your heart, know what you say, if you say, I'm not going to be honest, then I'm not going to be honest. I'm not going to be honest. Now that's where it comes at honesty and commitment. Your commitment to your life and commitment to your work will. इतनी और जाए अब तेरे कि जो वर्क मूड का हर चीज ऊपर का लिया आएगा उसके अंदर उसपे पैशन भी होगा वो हार्ड वर्क भी करेगा और वो सीखेगा भी से तो वो उसकी कमिटमेंट है The last word is critical ability to persevere यानी बर्दाश्त कि अगर अबिलिटी आपके है तो फिर आप फेल नहीं हो सकते फिर आप कामयाब होंगे लेकिन बर्दाश्त करना सिर्फ आसानी है तेरा आपसे नहीं हम एग्री कर सकते कि हाँ यार मैं करूँगा बर्दाश्त नॉट इजी एट ऑल इन लाइफ यू फेस सो मेनी चैलेंजेस सो मेन शॉक्स दैट तेरा टाइम यू सेड अरे आई कैन टेक इट एनी बोर्ड आई गिव अप बट दिस इज वेयर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पी Given by the society, by the people, by the family, by the family, by the business, you will survive. But if you 
Walk away. You lost all your hard work. Wait, time is running. I could be here for text three hours. This is so important to understand. Being responsible. What a son. जब भी कोई गलती हो फिर फिर तो वे डू लुक फॉर स्टेप वोट कि किसने किया किसका कुछ हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल बट देर इज पीपल आउट देयर हु ऑलवेज टेक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दम सेल्स बिकॉज दे बिलीव दे वर द वर्ड हु शुड हैव सीन वट्स रॉन्ग नॉ इफ यू हैव दिस अबिलिटी इन यू बिकॉज इट्स नॉट इजी टू से ओ सॉरी आई डेट मिस्टेक नॉट मेनी पीपल कैन से दैट is the problem with the society today but it is not about the tv we are talking about you are sure you are commentary sure you are talking about the things you are talking about so you are still blaming them is they are blaming the government for not being enough probably government drop you know drop it again the government will be very happy to get the matter back no no come tell you yeah i mean just tomato bag to tomato ki khara mein dahi dal lunga khane no one will say that कि यार टमाटर तो उगता है वो मौसम है आपका सब्जी पड़ी टमाटर है टमाटर एक सौ चालीस का हो जाएगा या दो सौ का हो जाएगा नोबडी से कि यार एक हफ्ते के लिए टमाटर नहीं लाते सारे ताकि टमाटर सस्ता हो नोबडी मुझसे था कभी सुना टीवी में कि यार टमाटर महंगा नहीं खाएंगे या आलू नोबडी से सिस्टम सिस्टम सा खराब है तो टमाटर में आई थिंक एज ए नेशन वी इंडिविजुअल्स नीड ऑल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आवर सेल्फ रबादर में क्यों चीजें महंगी होती है क्योंकि वी गो एंड होल्ड एवरीबडी विल गो बाय कभी किसी ने सोचा कि यार इस दफा फ्रूट सैलेड कब कर जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ ब्रिंग द पैसा नो बडी एंड वी विल ब्लेम द सिस्टम ऑफ सोसाइटी कि जी महंगा है इट्स एवरी ईयर मैं टीवी देख रहा हूं वैसा कर यार ओ माय गॉड व्हाट्स रॉन्ग विद अस क्या एवरी वन कैन से यार इस रबादर मैं कब खाऊं एंड आई विल सी एक आदमी खाने से कितना प्राइस कम होगा मेरे घर में अगर कम हो जाएगा तो उससे प्राइस कम होगी I think that's where it lies. Our big excuses is both with it. एक बात रखी. Life is not fair. I tell you what, it is very unfair. मैं इतनी दफा बैठ के अफसोस हो रहा कि मेरा जाति हो गया. I've cried. ये क्या बात है? मैं इतना smart हूँ. I'm so smart. I'm so clever. And when you try to be fair, this is not fair. But who promised you that life is fair? किसी ने बता के था कि life is fair? Nobody promised. You. Life is not fair. There will be times you will fail. There will be times you will not fail because you didn't do it right. Because your environment didn't let you succeed. Accept it. Take it as a learning which you will not get in any school or college. Take your failures on the chin and face up. Do not bend down. Let the life hit you. And if you take the hitting and survive, I tell you what, you're better than others. So it's about fairness. हर बार हम कहते हैं सॉफ्ट फेयर घर में भी कहते हैं अगर दो भाई बच्चे हैं भाई बच्ची इसमें भी दूसरी बड़ी तो रहे हैं वो इस सॉफ्ट फेयर देखते हैं. This is so unfair. Oh, it's unfair. Of course, it's unfair. वो एक मैं किस्सा सातों में बस एक बच्चा था. Good kid. एक दिन उसकी अम्मी मेरे पास आ गई. Normally मैं घर में कभी कोई आता. So she called me. I was very upset. Normally it's a private line, but आई कुछ और भेजी भी क्या मेरे पुत्र बड़ी जाति होती है टीम लीडर बड़ा तंग करता हूँ काम वो करता है क्रेडिट साइड मिल जाता है दिस नॉट फेयर तू तुझे गल प्रोजेक्ट नहीं बता मैंने ये राशि तुझे वापस जाओ बोल के बिल्कुल ना लेट योर सन गो थ्रू हिज लाइफ लेट द मीटिंग विल बी अनफेयर फॉर हिम बिकॉज़ दिस इज हाउ ही विल लर्न टू फेस द वर्ल्ड इट्स ओके आई कैन आई बिलीव यू टीम लीडर इज अनफेयर बट आई विल नॉट वर्क ऑन द चिल्ड्रन लेट योर सन गो टू हिज पीसेस यू नो दैट बॉय टुडे इज इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया माशाल्लाह इज हैविंग 150000 डॉलर पर ईयर टुडे इट्स अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल Consultant in Australia because he survived that unfairness from the team.
Okay. Who wants to be entrepreneur? Come on, let's see. How many people wants to be entrepreneur? G. What is the entrepreneur? Uh, somebody who has a passion, has a dream, and uh, then takes the necessary risks to, you know, achieve that dream. Excellent explanation. G. All the entrepreneur. How many of you wants to be entrepreneur in your life? Come on, let's see some hands. Yeah, come on. Is it such a suggestion? They spoke and create jobs for others and do something for the society. Very good. Okay. See, that's a good. G. Anybody? Any other work to be? G. At the back. Who will say? Excellent. G. Anybody else? Entrepreneur. G. Sir, who comes up with a new and innovative idea? G. That's entrepreneur. Yes, that is entrepreneur. Okay. I think all these comments I came up with my own experience of life. You have an entrepreneur? And uh, I define entrepreneur someone who can create or build a institution with zero dependence upon others or environment. An entrepreneur is not a billionaire. An entrepreneur is not always a billionaire. Even a real man who is a big guy, who is a big guy, is an entrepreneur. वो अपने पांच हजार पैसों वाले के निकलता है, पर फिरता है, रेडी करता है और बेच के वो अपना पांच सौ हजार पैसे निकाल के जाता है उसमें से। Now that's a pure entrepreneurship. He's not depending on anybody at all. He's taking his own risk with the money, using that, and अपना घर उस चलाता है किसी की डिपेंडेंस के बगैर। He's not built on the society. That is entrepreneurship. तो फिर जेब में डिपेंडेंसी को क्लियर कर लीजिए। It is not being about a billionaire, that every entrepreneur will become a billionaire. So it's about sustaining yourself without depending on others and creating something where others can benefit. I think that's the key to entrepreneurship. So in your minds, and I tell you what, Pakistan does need entrepreneurs. Because the amount of people who are living, we can't create a job. In the public sector, then what will happen? That you have to leave some people to leave. You have to leave some people to leave. You have to leave some people to leave. क्रिएटिव होना पड़ेगा आइडिया जो आपके सामने उसको आप लाइफ में लाएंगे रिस्क लेंगे इफ यू प्लान टू पीपल दैट्स थ्री जॉब्स योर ओन जॉब एंड टू मोर पीपल दैट्स इंटरप्रोशिप सो दिस कंट्री डज नीड इंटरप्रोस टू कम फॉर एन एवरी लेवल अच्छा वो हल्की दुकान है या फ्रिज की दुकान है या आई है या मोबाइल टेलीफोन की दुकान पर वट एवर That entrepreneurship is the key to Pakistan. Let me talk about Pakistan a little later, but I'll move on. Okay, let's talk about myself. I mean, uh, we are here to know who I am. I'm an IT. I've been developing software and designing systems, designing networks for 24 years. But I don't have IT background. I am a lot of IT degree and that's very really strange uh, how could be a petroleum engineer coming to IT and you know do what I do but this is where interestingly my passion came in in 1977 when I was doing my uni uh, we were given a foreign language course foreign language is a very old language and those days we had IBM Machines with the punch card put in, and I was sent. My, my professor asked me to write any number. Say, say, Salim, write. I say, okay, two plus two. What's it? What's it? Punch card, pe card machine, but Allah. No, to my amazement, answer came back four. I said, oh my God, how does this machine know it's four? How does it work? Could Bata picture me? Can you say four? Can you say? I said, I can picture you. Bata, Bata, card went in. The answer came back four. पंच तुसा कर रहा है फोन कर रहा है। I couldn't believe it। How can a machine know it's four to plus two? What is the hardest one? So once I finished my journey, I went and looked for computer courses and I started understanding how how it works. And this is where the passion came. Okay, somehow I felt like the decisions have been made. The times you take decisions in life, जो पूरी ज़िंदगी के लिए आपकी लाइफ अच्छी कर देगी, या फिर so we all take decisions and you will take decisions in your life as you 
come into your real life. So I did that. Uh, I got lucky to get a job at Citibank in the computer department. The most job you can get in the computer department. Most job you have in the computer department. What is the most job in the computer department? Data entry. Data entry. Data entry. I got the job as a computer department. You know how? I, before that, I got a job with a company in Saudi Arabia. I was in Riyadh as a transport manager. Because I had a degree. And I was looking for jobs. This company gave me a job as a transport manager. And it was a good job. They paid me 6,000 riyal at that time in 78. And they gave me a car because I was a transport manager. And I was doing very well. I was, there was nothing to do for one day for me. Then I got the call from Citibank. Because I applied for an IT job. So they called me. They said, did you apply for the job? I said, yeah. You're still interested? I said, yeah. So I want to see this American guy in Citibank. This is 1979. And uh, he looked at the resume and said, uh, you have a very good job. <coughs> you still want to join uh, Citibank and IT department? Like, yeah, but it's an operator job. Like, no problem. And we pay you half the salary what you're getting. And I didn't even blink for a second. I said, I don't care. But it's a night shift. I said, I don't care. Are you serious? Like, yeah. I took that job. I was 20 years old or maybe 19, 20 years old or something. I took that job, half the salary, night shift, and as operator. How many of us can take a decision in life like that? Because we were in Paris. Remember that? I was having a very good life. We had family, and that 6,000 was good money at that time. Excellent money. As early as 3,000 I left, and I was whole night up in my red eyes trying to control the computer. In life, you take decisions. Could be a bad financial could be ruined. I mean, I could be a good IT guy at that time. I didn't do that. I just knew one thing: that computers going to change the future because I saw two plus two makes four. That's start of my life. Moved on with my life and worked very hard. I mean, in real time, I worked very hard to build my IT profession. I learned a lot. I went to the world to learn about development cycles and languages. And designing the systems are really truly work. In between, I have seen many failures. I failed many times. I cried in the night for my failures. I was upset for myself for days. What I'm doing to myself? What's wrong with me? Why do I fail? I work so hard. I still fail. But every morning I got up in the morning and went back to work. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. I got up in the morning and went back and tried again and again and again. I kept trying. Then I moved to Australia. It is six. Beautiful country. Because I was hardworking. Because, you know, I could do things other way. I was hired very quickly and I did an excellent uh, job in the staying in Australia till 1995. I was very successful. And one day, not one day, Few years down the track, I just started getting frustrating about Pakistan. I was away from Pakistan for 22 years. Then I went to Pakistan, I went to Saudi Arabia, I went to Australia. So it was 22 years of my life away from Pakistan. And I saw Indian companies coming to to Australia and working for my company where I was as a consultant. They would come and bring 20 Indians. They will be having a coffee shop. They will start implementing the software for my company. And I was totally confused. How come I don't see any Pakistani group or company coming and bidding for that work? There was none. For two or three years, I kept talking to myself that there's something wrong. Why we don't have? And with that silly idea that Pakistan Jai or Bahar, which built great, I left a country like Australia, took up my young family, and very little money. Whatever you want, you spend and you were having a very good money. So I came to Lahore. Lahore, that soul can have say, Kapil Jasir Kali. Now, if you are away from a country for 22 years, you don't have a network. Nobody knows you. You left very young. You came back. You have no friends left. Nobody knows you. So you come here and you know, I'm a dreamer. Very, 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 very
तो लोग मैं भी खट हो गए कि आरटी सर्विस सही से नहीं है इससे अच्छा बता तो है कोई तो ये तो आया और मैं बड़ा अपने से मेरे पीछे थी कि लॉ लेकर लॉ लूट जाना मेरे कुत्ते कि सर ये कोई आ गया बस सारा काम सही तो कराओ वो सर आई वाज टेक अ बैक आफ्टर फ्यू वीक्स आई थॉट आई वाज इन द ऑफिस एंड गोइंग टू माय ऑफिस एवरीडे एक सूट था मेरे पास पीले रंग का एक रेड टाई थी मेरी वो मुझे काफी खींच हो गई थी पहले पहन के पर आई स्टिल वेयर दैट सूट एवरीडे एंड गो टू माय ऑफिस and uh, call people try to sell my services on software